Hey everybody, so today we are going to create a outro together. So this is what we are going to be creating. I hope you guys like this and just keep on watching to see how I did this and that way you guys can have one too. So, let's get to the unboxing. I'm so excited. This is the first time I've gotten to unbox something like this. And what we need to do for an outro is to have some icons downloaded um, for our social media. And when I mean that, I mean these type of icons for your Facebook, for your Twitter, for your Instagram, and also, of course, a subscribe button. So in order to make this, we're going to be using the site called PickMonkey.com. You probably all are familiar with this because you use this for your thumbnails. So what we want to do when we go to PickMonkey is go to our design um, section. And what we want to do first off the bat is resize this to like an HD size, which is 920 to 1080. And we want to hit apply. Then you can click on this canvas color and pick whatever type of color you'd like. Um, what, honestly, there's so many different colors you can choose from. Um, so I think I'll probably stick to this pretty color here and hit apply. Then what I want to do is I want to text, put some text into my little box here. So pick whatever font you like, whatever you think you know, fits your style. I'm going to pick this um, Dudmo and I'm going to, then I'm going to type click here to, then I want to do, I'm going to write click here to see my last video. And I'm going to make them just a tad bit bigger. And then you can write, have you seen my last video with a question mark, uh, whatever fits your style. So then I want to just go ahead and add my little icons. And to do that, you want to go to overlays and then you want to do um, your own. Then you just want to find your little icons and just let them upload. I'm going to make this text different actually. I want it to be, I'm going to choose that one and make it just a tad bit bigger but all in one line. Yeah, I like that. Then I'm going to add some more text and then, you know, for my Facebook, I'm going to type out my name. And I'm going to duplicate this here, duplicate text. And then I'm going to make this just a tad bit smaller. And you want to make sure everything's kind of lined up and looks equal. I'm going to change all the fonts so that they look the same. All right. And then I also want to go back to my overlays and then I want to find my subscribe button and I want to just put that, I'm going to put it down here actually. And then what you're going to do is find a nice like, um, what are they called, like a label, find a nice little label here, oops. So go to your labels, and I'm going to click on this here, and I'm going to put this like right in center of the subscribe. Uh, I'm just going to change it to white and put that there, and then I'm going to find an arrow. And I'm going to switch it. I'm going to put it on like an angle there. Click here. 
make this just a tad bit bigger. And if you want, you can put your name, your YouTube name anywhere you'd like. Okay, so I'm just going to make that little label just um, a little bit bigger. Um, so that way when I do the picture in picture, the actual picture will fit and look nice within that box there, that label box. So I'm just going to make that as big as I can. And then I'm just going to move the subscribe button so that everything's centered and everything looks really good together. So go ahead and just save that, name it something easy like your outro, and save it to your desktop. That's what I like to do, save it wherever. Um, so also just another tip, when you are editing a video, just make sure that you save like a 10 second clip of like the important parts of that video. That way it's always ready for your outro for your next video that you're going to be uploading. So now I'm just going to upload my layout and I'm going to put it at the end of my video that I'll be uploading soon and see how this is like zooming in as it goes we are going to change that so you want to go to adjust and then go to cropping and then you want to just put um, fit you just want to choose fit not crop to fit but fit and then you can change the length of this um, but I think 10 seconds is a good enough little preview or a, a refresh of your previous video so I think 10 seconds is good so go ahead and find your clip in your library and add that right above your outline or out outro then you want to change it to picture in picture drag your picture or the video in your little box or whatever you're making you don't have to have a box and I'm just centering it and making it look nice and pretty and fitted in the box there so now I'm just going to um, crop the fit, crop the video, the picture in picture. And instead of fit, I'm going to put crop to fit. <laughs> Look at my face. <laughs> and I'm just going to make it just a little bit smaller and just highlight my face and what I'm actually talking about in this video. And I'm going to play it. That way you can see what it kind of looks like. <laughs> um, but yeah, I loved how this turned out. Um, I hope you guys found this informative please thumbs up my video leave comments below if you need um, if you have any questions but um, actually I do know that movie maker does not have like a picture in picture option so I won't be able to show you that but I will include um, links to other people who have different types of editing software other than movie maker um, and I'm sure some of them are free so I'm sorry that I can't show you that um, but this is how you do it in Mac.